Welcome to online classes of Malabar Engineering College. Here I gonna take a topic of Machine Design 2 for A6 Automobile. And the topic I gonna cover here is about springs. Okay, what's the property of a spring? A spring has a high property of resilience. It means when a force is applied to the spring and when the force is removed, at that moment it comes back. That's known as the resilience property of the spring. Okay, here let us see a problem based on spring. There are generally two types of spring used in an automobile. They are leaf spring and helical spring. Helical spring are in a coil shaped spring and it goes like a, like a circular motion. And the leaf spring comes in the shape of a straight rectangle and it looks like a leaf shape. So that's the name in the sense the shape of the spring. Okay, here we gonna do a simple problem from a helical spring. And the problem is, it is required to design a helical spring. The, scr the spring is in compression, the helical spring which has a compressive force. Subject is a maximum force. The force of that spring is 1250 Newton. That's the force is given. And the deflection, that means the deflection of the spring means it's a motion. The maximum it can be deflected. That's around 30 mm. The spring index is taken as 6. Like the distance from inside the coil of the spring the spring index and is taken as 6 the ultimate tensile strength and the modulus of rigidity of the spring material is 1090 and 81370 newton per mm square respectively and the permissible stress should be 50 percentage of the ultimate tensile strength okay the permissible strength is 50 percentage of the ultimate tensile strength and the things which we need to find, find the first we need to find the wire diameter, like the diameter of the wire of the coil spring, the helical spring, the wire diameter, and then find the mean coil diameter. It means the mean. The there's for a spring the shape is circular, so it will be have maximum and minimum value. So we have to take the mean value of it. Uh, so the mean coil diameter, then number of active coils, then while there is a motion there will be inactive coils and active coils in it so the number of active coils the coils which are in action is known as active coils then we need to find the number of coils apart from active coils there are inactive coils also so we need to find the total number of coils in that spring that helical spring okay first of all let us write the given data First we have the force applied, the force is 1250 Newton, then we have the deflection dho, it is notated by the letter dho and it is 30 mm and we have C that is like the spring index which is 6, then we have SUT, it means the uh, ultimate tensile strength of the spring that is 1090 Newton per mm square and, uh, and we have the modulus of rigidity that is denoted by the letter G modulus of rigidity is 81,370 then we have tau which is represented by permissible shear stress permissible shear stress is denoted by the letter tau which is 50 percentage of the ultimate tensile strength so we write like tau is equal to 0.5 into SUT okay now first step the first step is to find the diameter of the wire Okay, here is the wire. So we write the we find the tau. The uh, we need to find first the tau, and we have tau is equal to point five SUT, which is, which is given in the question. So we find the value point five into uh, one zero nine zero, and the value we get is the half of it, five forty five newton per mm square. And after that, we need to find the spring constant K, which is given in the data book. K is equal to 4C minus 1 by 4C minus 4. The C is the spring index. That is 6. That we substitute here and we get the spring constant as 1.2525. And we have the equation tau to find the shear. Tau is equal to spring constant into 8 into force. P force into C. Spring index. By pi into D square. In substituting this equation, we know the value of tau. Tau as 545 
and k we have spring constant 1.2525 and 8 into p, p is the force 1250 and we have c, c is a spring index, uh, there is a spring index 6 and by substituting this we find the diameter of the wire and the diameter of the wire is around 6.63 mm and we round it as 7 mm like that is the diameter of the wire after finding the diameter of the wire we need to find the mean coil diameter that means the total I had said like there will be limits so the mean value we should be taken so it will be d is equal to spring index into diameter which we found lately so we are substituting c6 into 7 that is 42 mm is the mean diameter then after that we need to find the number of coils like active coils how many coils are active in that uh, component so it is dho deflection dho is equal to 8 into p d q n by g d ratio 4 ok here we know the deflection dho is 30 mm and we have p p we have 1250 and uh, capital D that is here the mean coil diameter uh, which is 42 N is the parameter which we should find and G is the modulus of uh, modulus of rigidity G that we have 81370 and we have the small d the diameter here is 7 mm by substituting it we need, we get the number of active coil and the number of active coil in it is 8 coils ok that comes the third step after the final fourth step comes like total number of coils how many coils are available in a helical spring which is to be designed it's like total number of spring is nt is equal to n plus 2 it means the active coils are n 8 plus there will be both sides it is assumed the both sides spring each coils are inactive so it takes the parameter 2 so the total number of coils in that helical spring is given by n plus 2 that is 8 plus 2 it means the total number of coils in that spring is 10 in the helical spring is 10 i hope you understand how to solve this problem by this i wind up my class thank you